Someone else sharing with us. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. I think I'm in spirit naturally enlightened by the people, by the pulse of the people coming here, coming back, Sankofa, returning. Okay. okay, good. And I'm in tune with this with that. Myself. And so all I have to do now is let it get out of me. Uh -huh. so. Good, good, good. My brother, can, are you going to share something with us? So busy taking pictures. Okay, good. He said, I am spirit. <clears throat> Human being is made up of spirit and body. Naturally enlightened to me means before you came to this world, God has put something in you. There is no one who is a useless person. God has put something in you. And what God has put in you, there is no any human being, it is only God. And it is God who is going to open up those pages for you to see. What are those pages? Understanding, the love, the joy, the understanding. Your understanding may be different from someone. Your skills may be different from someone. The knowledge that you have may be different from someone. But you all have knowledge. So all this God has put in you. What do you do with it? To help others. To let 
let it be and uh, to come out of you so that people will see what the Creator has put in you to give Him the glory. You are naturally enlightened. There are some people who even doesn't like nature. But some people love nature. Some people use nature as their God. They worship nature. Some people worship rivers, stones, and all those things. You are naturally enlightened, meaning that it is God who put all these things in you so that one day it will come out like the flowers. Early in the morning, you see it blossoming. Then people will see it and give you the glory. May his name be praised now and forevermore. Amen. God is so wonderful. He's, he's so wonderful. Look at the hotel that we have. It's not too far from here. It's raining here. It's not raining there. Immediately we came out of the runabout I so I said, wow, what a mighty God he said. He's a great God. Okay, today we are we've checked out of the hotel and we are driving to Almina. Almina. On our way, we're going to stop at a place called Jazzy, Jazzy, for you to see the land. After that, we'll continue to come out of Jazzy, and then we'll continue to Almina. In between, we're going to have a lunch, and uh, we've requested for the menu. We'll send it to you. Choose your choice, whatever you want to eat. We'll give it to them. By the time we get there, the food will be prepared. Then, after that, we'll continue to jazz it. On our way, I'm going to point out some landmarks. I'm going to tell you some traditions and some history. I was so happy yesterday. Uh, uh, not, let me, I've been happy all along. But yesterday, superseded all the days, we had a very nice, beautiful discussions, uh, which people pour out their hearts and it's so marvelous, so marvelous. And I think today there's going to be another topic uh, for us to have a discussion. Let's all continue this. Because uh, uh, the good book says that iron sharpens iron. There is no wood that can sharpen iron. If you are sharp, I'm sharp, we learn from each other. Iron sharpen iron meaning learning from each other. So we'll learn from each other. Thank you so much. So 